Help, I hear you say. I can't find my Pantone colours in Adobe Illustrator. It's so easy to find Pantones in InDesign. Where are they in Illustrator? I should say at the start of this tutorial sequence, this is not intended as an in-depth primer on Pantone colours. My assumption is that you know why you need to use a Pantone colour. You just need to find where they're hiding in the Adobe Illustrator interface. I've provided a couple of links in the extended description. Just click the Show More button below this movie if you want to explore and understand the role of Pantones in the design and printing process. The first point is, in the new CC 2018 interface, if you are working with the default Essentials workspace selected, when you don't have any objects selected, you don't even have any immediately obvious colour options to work with. So let's start by selecting an object. Now in the Properties panel, on the right hand side of the Illustrator window, in the Appearance pane, there's at least a Fill and Stroke box. Click on the Fill box to show the Flyout colour panels. There are two panels to choose from. There's the Colour Mixer and the Swatches panel buttons. Stick with the Swatches panel. If you're an InDesign user, your instinct will probably be to click the New Swatch button next to the Trash button. And if you do that, it takes you into the New Swatch dialog box. And that's where you run into a brick wall because there's no option to select a Pantone matching colour book. So I'll cancel the new Swatch dialog box. The simple answer is to go to the Swatch Libraries pop-up menu at the bottom of the Swatches panel. Then move your cursor onto Colour Books. And now we're cooking because here's the menu of colour matching systems you were probably looking for. I'm going to choose Pantone Solid Coated. What you don't want to do at this stage is to scroll through a panel like this to find the Pantone you want to use. In any case, you should already know the Pantone number because you chose it from a Pantone swatch guide. So if it's not already showing, go to the Panel menu button in the Pantone panel and select Show Find Field. Then click into the Show Find Field and enter the Pantone number. Click on the Pantone you want. I want 3145C. If you have an object selected, which I do because that's the first thing I did in this sequence, the Pantone colour is applied to the selected object. Logical, really. It's also been added to the Swatches panel. Notice how a Pantone colour is represented in the Swatches panel. It's got a white triangle in the bottom right corner, just like a global colour. And it's also got a small dot in the white triangle to indicate that it's a Pantone colour. If you prefer to view by list, I'll just select the option from the Swatches panel. You will see it clearly indicated and named as a Pantone spot colour. Two final points. Don't click randomly on the swatches in the Pantone panel. The colours will get added to your swatches panel. And then it's just a pain sorting out which ones you intend to use and deleting the ones you don't need. If you use the Pantone panel a lot, in the Pantone panel, go to the Panel menu button and choose Persistent to save having to locate and open that Pantone panel every time you start a new document. If you are new to Adobe Illustrator and you are looking for a logical, structured, step-by-step -step beginner's guide, my book Illustrator Structured Learning is now available on Amazon. There are links in the Show More expanded description area below this tutorial. Please like the tutorial if you like it, and please do watch my other tutorials.